This custom home that we're about to walk has design upgrades everywhere. Even in the primary bathroom, take a look at the cabinets, all the tile work that was done in here, and so much more. If you like custom home walkthroughs with high-end design, then stick around for a great walkthrough. Hey everyone, Raj Sahu here. I'm a realtor in Central Texas, but you shouldn't always use me as a realtor. More on that a little bit later. Today we're walking through the Sweet Leaf plan with Grand Endeavor Homes. This plan is over 3,700 square feet. It has four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, has a three car garage, and this is a sprawling one story plan that can be built on a one acre lot. And if you stick with me towards the end of the video, I'll take my drone up in the air and I'll show you some of the large lots that they have in this community. And we'll go through more details on that a little bit later on in the video. Now, while we go through this Sweet Leaf plan, one thing to note, this is very different from most model home walkthroughs that I do. Most of those model homes are with production home builders. This is a custom builder. So generally speaking, you have a lot more options here. You can even just take your own plans to the builder. And so just look at this walkthrough. It's just a representation of what's possible with Grand Endeavor. But just know that there are plenty of options that are out there. Starting off in the kitchen, I love what they did here from a design standpoint. Check out the cabinet overlay on the kitchen island. And that same overlay matches the kitchen vent hood which goes all the way up to the ceiling. I also love the upper cabinets with the glass insert, really draws your eyes upward. And then let me know what you think about the color of these cabinets. I've actually been seeing some sort of shade of green in a lot of flip properties now. It seems to be the color that is trending. And I think when you do this type of color combination, it's best to keep your backsplash simple like they did in here, where it blends in more with the countertop and this allows the cabinets to become the focal point. So the cabinets aren't competing with any other busy design upgrade in here. I think it really stands out as something that's unique and looks fantastic. But let me know what you think about that green color on the cabinets. Do you like it? Do you hate it? And there are just so many more design upgrades that we'll continue to go through throughout this video. And by the end of this video, I will want to hear from you in the comments on what you thought about this. Did Grand Endeavor hit this one out of the park? Or would you prefer to see something else from a design standpoint? Moving on, we are in the pantry. And then right next to this pantry, they have an additional butler's pantry. Then we're going to see a dining room next. And we're basically circling back to the front of the home. So when I first walked through those front doors, I went right out to the main living area. But on either side of that front door was a study on the right and then a dining room on the left. And just next to that dining room is this butler's pantry. Here, I love what they did with the backsplash where they matched it more with the cabinet hardware. It just provides that unique touch that I think is so cool to see in some of these custom homes. And then I like when builders just fit windows wherever they can, like right above that sink in the butler's pantry. Moving on into the dining room, and I'm calling this the dining room, it is still very open to the main living area. What I love about this dining room is the accent wall on the right side. It's like a forest green color. And I think after a long day of work, coming into a space with the walls a little bit darker, it just makes it feel so much more calm. And I'm seeing buyers do that in their media rooms too. So I have a buyer closing in a few weeks and they just had their uh, media room painted by the builder, like this dark black color for the exact same reason. And what I would say about this dining room is that green color, along with that huge window behind me, the tray ceiling above me, it makes this room feel like it's its own space while still being open to the rest of the living room. And I think that combination is hard to hit, but many buyers want that exact combination, a separate space, but it's still being open to the rest of the main living area. And I think they did a good job with that dining room. We are back at the front door. They have a double tray ceiling in here with a light fixture. As I mentioned before, we got our dining room, butler's, butler's pantry, kitchen pantry on the left side. There's actually a utility room back there too. I will get back out there. There's some spare bedrooms. There's actually a game room back there that looks out to the backyard. There's still a lot that we have to see, but I want to focus in on this study. Now this study is used by the actual builder agent who uses this as their office. That's why they have two chairs on the right side and one chair on the left. Uh, but the design standpoint, I love the tray ceiling that we saw before. I would put the desks facing out to the doors personally. That way you have that window off your left shoulder. You have that accent wall right behind you with the floating shelves. So that, that can make for a, a great zoom background, which I think everybody's looking for these days. And then I like how that study just, you exit that study and you come right out to the main living area where you can just take a seat here. I like the setup that they have, the freestanding shelves on the right and left of the TV, that 
tile running around the fireplace to break up that wall. And then the stackable sliding glass doors with four panels is just fantastic off your left shoulder. Everything very open. I think they love playing around with these glass doors, both on the front and the back. When you first enter this home, it feels like that backyard is a part of the space on the inside. And I think that that's really important. I was actually just going through this with a buyer where they're interested in a home that was already built out and the home had a lot of square footage for the price point, but there was a reason why it just did not flow well. You enter the front door, you're hit with a wall. You can't really, you kind of curl out into the main living area. It just did not flow well. But I think this flows really well. When you get outside, you have these tall ceilings, you have enough space for a six seater table. You're seeing a grill and a sink and even a mini fridge here on the right side along with the TV. But what I love is even off my right shoulder, you can see all the way out into the front yard because you have all this glass here, you have all the glass on the front and it's exactly what I was talking about where when you first enter that front door, you see all of this, <laughs> all the greenery that's back here, all the land that's back here where it just feels like there's endless amounts of options of what you can do in your backyard. It just feels fantastic. Now we are in a community called Vintage Oaks. It's in New Braunfels, Texas. And New Braunfels is a suburb that's in between San Antonio and Austin, Texas. It's got beautiful hills and topography in parts of this community. And there are still good opportunities to build here. Now one thing to keep in mind, Grand Endeavor is building in the preserve. It's right off of Vintage Oaks. I don't believe it's gonna be tying into the Vintage Oaks amenities, but the roads tie in with the Vintage Oaks neighborhood. And so the preserve is very close by and you can build beautiful homes like this on very large home sites. And this is exactly what Grand Endeavor does really well. Even just in the breakfast neck area, take a look at these windows that are here, the transom windows above them it makes this space open up to the backyard so well. And that's what Grand Endeavor does really well. That's why they're specialized in building on these large home sites. And that's why I'll do my best to keep featuring good plans just like this one with great builders. In fact, the first walkthrough that I did with Grand Endeavor Homes, it was a model home in another community that received 140,000 views just in its first month. So I think what people are telling me is they like watching custom home walkthroughs with great builders that have fantastic design upgrades. And so I'll keep featuring them as much as I can on my channel. Moving on, we are in the primary bedroom. I love all the tray ceilings that they're doing in here. As I always say, ceiling height windows make a big difference. It's often overlooked, especially by out of state or out of town buyers. And so I like to always remind them, this could be your view when you wake up and you move the curtains to the side and massive windows like that make such a big difference. You also have a separate access to get to your backyard right from your primary bedroom. A lot of people always ask, why is that needed? Uh, if you're planning on putting a pool back there, it's nice to just have a separate door to get right into your bathroom quickly so you don't have to go through your house, get anything wet. And as you can tell, it's nice to get into this bathroom. I love the design work that they did in here where you have that tile wall on the left side that separates the walk-in shower from the freestanding tub to all this cabinetry. And this is when I said, I really do love this green touch that they have on the cabinets. At this point, I definitely warmed up to it. And I, I thought to myself, this along with the toe kick lighting on that rug, with the cabinet hardware and the dark faucets and the light countertops, everything contrasts really well, but there's still a theme here. It's not like they're using so many different colors where it's very confusing. In fact, when you walk in here, that theme is very apparent, like on the freestanding tubs around that dark color matching the hardware on the kitchen cabinets. It, it all flows really well together. And that along with all the natural light that's coming in from the walk-in shower is fantastic. Check out the size of this walk-in shower. And then you have multiple shower heads, two on the side, of course, a rain shower. And this shower is so big, there aren't even any doors on either side. So I'm just gonna walk through it. I did not wanna miss the uh, water closet where the commode is. And then I'll walk back through the walk-in showers so and get a good view of the vanity from the other side. Now, one thing I wanted to point it out for the vanity, they made the mirror very small and then they just put lights on either side of the mirror. Let me show you what I mean. And when looking at this again, I'm not really sure if I'm a huge fan of this. I think if you have a big mirror there all the way across to either side of those cabinets, 
it will make the room feel a lot bigger and i always like seeing that big mirror there maybe that's just me it's a very small critique of course i want to know what you think are you okay with that small mirror with the lights on either side or would you prefer one of those larger mirrors there Heading into the primary closet, I like how they fit a window in here. And for this primary closet, one thing to keep in mind is you just see rods, some shells, not too many built-ins. You can always do a third-party closet build-out. I actually have a couple clients doing it next month after they close. So it's very typical after construction. But with a custom home builder, you might find more buyers doing it with the actual builder. Now we're gonna head to the game room next. And on the way, I do wanna mention Grand Endeavor is building a lot of their homes in the western corridor of Austin all the way down to the hills in the North San Antonio area. And so they can do a build on your own lot. So if you find the lot, they'll work with you on trying to build your dream home on there. Of course, that tends to be a little bit more complex. You have to focus on utilities and different things like that. Uh, but in some of these communities, like we're gonna see the lots in the preserve closer to the end of the video, which is here uh, around the Vintage Oaks area. And then while we head into the game room, I just want to finish by saying they have another community called HCH Ranch, which has amazing views. In fact, I have a great walkthrough in the description of this video. So by the end of this video, definitely check that out if you haven't seen it. That is a fantastic walkthrough. Heading into the game room, I like the tray ceiling in here again. I like the double doors heading outside to that uh, extended patio area. And then I love how they have a shuffleboard in so many of these model homes. It's almost like it's designed to show you how big this area is. And I'm showcasing that with a shot. Maybe not a great shot, but that was left-handed. And, and look, I'm right-handed, so can I give you a break on that one. I love this accent wall where they continue to incorporate some green touches within the home. Again, it really provides that solid theme that they have going in this home. And then we have a couple spare bedrooms that split by a full bathroom here. And while we go through these two bedrooms and the full bathroom, I do want to talk about the difference between a production home builder and a custom home builder. Now, a production home builder usually has a set amount of plans that they can build within a master plan community. And then they have various options with those plans. For the most part, production home builders can't deviate from those options. Meaning if you want something done in the bathroom, you wanna add a room here, you wanna change a wall there, you're gonna get told no a lot because it's a production home builder. You have to keep to the plan and you have to stay within the options of that plan. So you are more limited with production home builders compared to custom home builders. But keep in mind, there are some great production home builders that are out there. And I know them, I've represented buyers with 18 different production home builders just in the last two years. So if you reach out to me, I can give you the pros and cons of everybody out there. So you know what the best parts of a production home builder are. I think it's the pseudo custom aspect of it. I find for a lot of buyers, they can get there with a plan, but it's always missing maybe like one or two items that they really wanted. Uh, for example, one of my clients last year was building their home from scratch and they wanted to move their fireplace off the back wall of their home and put double sliding glass doors in their living room all across the back wall. And we were able to get that custom quote with a production home builder because again, they were a little bit more pseudo custom. So I think that combination is great, but nothing beats a custom home builder. If you're trying to get everything that you want in your home, you're very detail oriented, you're very particular where, where things need to be, you have a very particular design in mind, you wanna have a lot of options, well, that's usually gonna end up being a custom home. Now, keep in mind, just like anything else out there, there's pros and cons, you know, custom homes tend to be a little bit more of a higher price than a production home builder, but it gets more of what you want. So pros and cons, like we always say. Moving on, I wanna take a look at the powder bathroom that I missed when we first walked into the game room. I think my eyes were drawn to that accent wall uh, in the game room. I liked how they had an exit to the patio from that game room. And for the powder bathroom, I love that flooring that they did here. Uh, just that small tile, again, has that green touch that they keep tying into uh, each of these rooms, or I should say most of these rooms. Okay, let's head over to the utility room. We have that fourth bedroom. It's a little bit more private uh, from the other rooms in this home. And then I'm going to take my drone up and show you some great lots that have fantastic views in this area of New Braunfels, Texas. Now to get to the utility room, that door that we just saw was for the uh, kitchen pantry that we saw earlier in the video. 
right next to that kitchen pantry is the utility room. I like how they did a fun towel in here, which I think you can always do fun towels in these spaces that are a little bit smaller, like your utility room or powder bathroom. Right next to the utility room, we have a mud bench, and that's because the access to the three car garage would be through here. Now, if I open that up, they have it built out as a builder agent's office, so there's not much to see there. Uh, and one thing to keep in mind, that garage access is a sidecar garage, uh, so you would actually access it outside these windows in this bedroom to the left, which we'll see in a second. What I like about this fourth bedroom, again, it's private from the other areas of the home, so if you have somebody staying with you long-term, they wanna have their own space, they have their own wing over here on this side of the home. Now, while we go through the walk-in closet in this bedroom, as well as the in-suite full bathroom, I did wanna clarify something I said at the beginning of this video, which is, you shouldn't always use me as a realtor. What I meant by that is when people reach out to me for their real estate needs, I don't try to convince them that they should always work with me. I, in fact, do the opposite. I just try to get to know their criteria for their home, for their location, and then when I look at their criteria, I determine who is the best realtor for them. And that's not always me. For example, I just had somebody reach out to me. They had to move here fast. They had criteria that was a particular budget and part of Austin where I knew a realtor was dominating that area. So I just referred that client to that realtor and that client contracted within a week of contacting them. So I'm so happy for them. That also supports this channel by reaching out to me first about your real estate needs. And also it allows me to focus in on what I do best. I do work with a lot of builders. I work with a lot of new homes. And instead of explaining all the criteria that I work with for my niche, just reach out to me. I'd be happy to help. And if I can't, again, I'll connect you with a great realtor. Now, before I let you go, you have to check out these lots. The home that's in front of us framed up, take a look at the right side. Notice all those trees that are back there? That's actually the backyard for that home. So there are some great lots that back up to green belts uh, and then even lots that back up to neighbors. Like notice that home on the left side with the blue roof, obviously the roof's about to go on. That on a map looks like it's backing up to neighbors, but do you see how many trees are between that house and the neighbors? It definitely allows for a lot of privacy, and that's what I think they're doing really well in this area is keeping as many trees as they can as possible, maintaining the beauty that's here in the community like this. And as you can tell by that walkthrough that we just went through, they have fantastic homes that they're building out here. Now, if you have not seen the other model home with Grand Endeavor Homes and you wanna see a fantastic home, has amazing views off the backyard, then click on the thumbnail that's appeared on your screen. If you've already seen that home, you wanna see another home in this community of Vintage Oaks that also has a great view off of its backyard, then click on this next thumbnail. And then I wanna hear from you Tell me in the comments what your favorite part was of that home. And as always, I hope this helps. Take care, everyone.